Hey guys, Swordsman here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 870 MCS Combat Shotgun. Uh, this thing is a, it's a little badass, I gotta say. It's one of my favorite shotguns. I use it a good bit on PC, a little bit on Xbox as well, and it, uh, it it's pretty damn good. It is a pump-action shotgun, of course. Sadly, it is the only pump-action shotgun that Battlefield 3 has, but with how good this thing is, maybe we don't actually need additional pump-action because this, this thing is pretty damn good. Now, to get us started off, we're going to look at the amount of rounds is, that this thing carries. Now, it is five rounds by default. If you want to run extended mags, it, you can cram in some extra ones there, but typically, I I don't know. I mean, extended mags always helps if you go on like a big rampage, but that's kind of rare for me, but I do run it sometimes because there's really not a ton to compete with that slot. It does take 0.55 seconds between pumps, between shots rather, so... If you shoot one, 0.55 seconds later, you're going to be ready to shoot again. As far as I am aware, there is no pump canceling like there was in Bad Company 2 that does not exist. That said, I was never too great at it in Bad Company 2, so maybe it does exist, I just can't do it right. But as, as best I can tell, it does not exist in Battlefield 3, so you got to wait those 0.55 seconds. When it comes time to reload this big bitch, the first shell will take 1.3 seconds to reload. But every shell thereafter will only take 0.67 seconds to add in there, so it does get quicker the more you go. So that is a plus, and uh, it, it really does work out that you sort of pull to the side a little bit, reload quickly. The first one will take longer because it has a longer uh, animation, but then, then you're rolling, you know? Okay, so the damage here is a little tricky because you have so many varieties of ammunition type. And in case you didn't know, in Battlefield 3, the damage that weapons do has nothing to do with the guns themselves. It has to do with what uh, size ammunition that the guns are shooting. So, while I'm going to recite the these damage numbers for this 870 shotgun, you got to keep in mind that these same things basically apply to all the other shotguns as well. Except for slugs. I'll, I'll try to dis uh, make a distinguishing uh, comment about that further on. But we can start with the slugs, I guess. In the 870, a slug will do 100 damage up close, up to about 20 meters. So if you're looking for a one-shot kill, up close range combat, a slug can do that if you can be accurate. It's 100 damage, bam, dead. That will drop down to 34 damage at maximum range, anything over about 40 yards. And it can be anywhere in between there once you get between the, the 20 and 40 yards. It'll gradually decrease. Now, if you look at that, a slug in the other shotguns, the, the semi-autos, the slugs will only do 50 damage up close in 34 damage max range. Therefore, where the 870, you know, it's just, bam, dead. If you if you connect up close, that guy is dropping. With the other ones, you got to get two slugs. So if you're going to run slugs, you probably want to run it in the, the 870 combat shotgun. That, that's just my experience so far. But uh, maybe you guys disagree. Now, Buckshot, uh, the, probably the most popular ammo type that people run with the 870. If you take a look, it will do 20 damage per pellet, and that is 12 pellets coming out of each shot. And that, the 20 damage will be good for up to about 20 meters yet again. And then at uh, about 40 meters, the damage drops down to a dismal 6 damage per pellet, and uh, you're sort of just pissing people off. Now, Flechette is the opposite. Flechette will only do 14.3 damage up close, but its longer range damage is higher. So the, the further out you get, there, there reaches a point where uh, the buckshot will be doing less damage, but the, fl the flechette will be doing more damage. But again, at the maximum range at 40 damage, or 40 yards rather, it will be doing 8.4 max range. That's still over, that's two and a half, almost two and a half more damage per pellet than the, than the buckshot. But there is a point where, if you're going to be getting into sort of semi-medium range distances, the flechette will pack a bigger punch than the buckshot. You sort of need to plan accordingly for what type of uh, engagements you're going to be getting into. Now, another noteworthy point for the shotguns is the fact that the 870 has only a 2.0 spread. Now, what that means is how big that reticle is, basically... Uh, from when you're going to shoot, and that how how far your actual your actual pellets will be spreading out. The 870 is the most compact spread out of any of the shotguns at only 2.0. Every other shotgun has twice the amount of spread. So, 
The 870 packs a pretty big punch. It does have that pump delay, but if you can get your your target on, onto the onto the enemy, there's a pretty good chance you're going to land a vast majority of those 12 pellets right onto your target. So it has a very good spread, uh, twice as good as the other shotgun. So if you can be accurate, you can turn the 870 MCS into a damn near uh, a surgical weapon. It is very fun to use, it is challenging to use, especially given some of the other weapons you'll be competing against. So, if that sounds like fun to you guys, I really encourage you to get, the, get out there, load up the shotgun, and uh, get to work. It, it is a, a lot of fun. Take care guys, I hope you enjoyed this weapon review. Feel free to click on the annotation to return back to the other weapon reviews in the weapon locker, and then uh, I'll see you next time. Take care guys.